Okay, we're looking tonight at the Groth Sauvignon Blanc. This is from California, from the Oakville region. Um, it's their 2009. Groth um, has a very, very good reputation, predominantly for their Reserve Cabernet, which was, with their 1985 Reserve Cabernet, they were the first 100-pointed, 100 100-pointer 100 rated Cabernet in California. Um, and they really haven't looked back since. Very successful husband and wife team. Um, from the dot-com era, they were involved with uh, Atari Game game Series Game Company before, uh, before they decided to go into wine. So let's have a look at this. Now the notes are telling us that it's quite a nice colour. It's not particularly um, rich, but let's see, see, we'll see what it actually tastes like in a second. This is um, kept on lees, so what we're, gonna, what we're looking for probably here is some acid, some good Sauvignon Blanc, which has a creamy component to it, a little bit like the Tecoco or the Section 94 that we've had before. Right off the top, there's plenty of melon. If, uh, back in Australia, we'd call that honey melon or rock melon. Uh, sort of beautiful ripe melon ball kind of thing. Citrus is there. Not a heck of a lot of acid on the nose, but we'll see how it tastes. Yeah, there's about 10% semion in this wine, um, so think a little bit more along the flavor profiles of um, the Semso Blancs out of Margaret River. Um, so you're getting a far rounded, fuller mouthfeel uh, in the mid and back palate. Um, the acid is good. It's something that I drink now. This is not something that's going to be selling for terribly long. I really like the nose, and it's a major departure away from the kinds of Sauvignon Blancs that we've consumed over the last few years on the database. So, yeah, I think I'd actually drink this. I love the finish. And there's a bit that crisp, zingy kind of finish that we, we really need in Sauvignon Blanc is there. But more importantly, there's an added flavor profile, an added dimension of this, um, this lees fermentation, uh, as well as a little bit of semillon that's really given this wine a great rounded finish. So at the end of the day, don't worry too much about what the wine critics say. If you like it, just drink it. Cheers.